Hi there. Um, it's been a while since my last video in English, so uh, I decided to record a new video in English. Uh, today, uh, I wanted to talk about computers. Well, not computers, but my um, experience with Apple. I want. I was going to start just with my iPhone and iPad, but uh, I decided to just uh, talk about my experience with, experience with computers and with Apple and PC. Um, at present, I use both uh, Windows and Mac, um, but I started with Macintosh. I I had my first computer when I was 14 years old. Um, and I had uh, a Macintosh. Well, it was it was not mine, but it was my father's computer. But it was the first computer we had at home. <coughs> um, my father uh, was a teacher. He taught uh, Catalan language in the high school, and he also did um, some translations on corrections, proofreadings, novels, and this kind of stuff. And at that moment, uh, most of the publishing edit houses here in Spain used um, Macintosh for, I mean, as, th as their main computers. So uh, he decided to to buy a uh, a Macintosh, which was f far more expensive than a PC, but uh, it was a good reason. So, and I since the the beginning I've used I used the first well not the first but the previous um, uh, OS it was nine no eight point five I think it was the first one and but it was uh, already like the Windows I mean it it, ha it had an inter a graphic interface so I remember when I heard sometime later uh, that uh, Windows uh, I mean Microsoft was uh, releasing a new Operative system uh, with a graphic interface and it works with uh, the mouse and it called call it Windows. I was really surprised because I have had been using a graphic inter uh, graphic uh, interface some time before, so uh, it wasn't really something new. But uh, well, I guess that for most of the users who I mean most of the people use. Um, Windows, so uh, I suppose it was a. I guess it was a great um, change. Anyway, <coughs> after uh, working with um, with the Macintosh for a while, um, I remember uh, he some year, two or three years after he bought also a, a laptop, which was still in black and white. <laughs> it was really funny. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have it, but. Uh, it was yes, it was a black and white laptop because there was already the color screen, but it was really really expensive. So uh, he bought the black and white, and we we used it for for a while. Then finally he he bought a, a, the ancient uh, MacBooks, which was a color one. Uh, then when I when I started when I bought my first laptop uh, not laptop uh, desktop computer uh, when I when I start working as a translator um, I had to bought a PC because uh, I had to use um, some uh, specific programs for uh, for uh, for translation that uh, were just for Windows so I had to my, my first computer the first computer I bought was a, was a Hewlett Packard I think <coughs> and it was a really frustrating change why? Because I was one of those unfortunate people who had to deal with the Windows Millennium, which was a disaster. <coughs> it was this kind of, for uh, those of you who don't know what it, what it was, uh, it was like, uh, I, I suppose, I figured that uh, Microsoft needed to, uh, to release a new operating system uh, for the year 2000, and... Uh, XP wasn't wasn't uh, already uh, ready, so uh, they made like kind of um, 
and mixed up with uh, Windows 98 and, and the future XP uh, and it was a disaster I mean it was I mean I I, I got this blue screen uh, uh, I mean every 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 two hours so it was a it was a disaster uh, before uh, with with my previous Macintosh I had never had uh, a blue screen or a, a, any kind of crash I mean the Macintosh never crashed before so uh, with the with the Windows it was uh, it was a uh, it was a nightmare uh, fortunately it was just for it lasted just a few months because just afterwards uh, it was uh, Windows XP was released and a friend of mine saved my life uh, <coughs> installing uh, in my computer uh, the X XP which was fine so and I've been working a lot with uh, with uh, XP I mean since since then I mean it's like almost eight ten years and uh, two or three years ago I when I had to to change my my laptop which was also a PC I decided to to buy again a Mac computer. So right now I have a my desktop is a Windows XP. Um, yet I mean I haven't I haven't yet tried the the Windows 7, so I still have uh, the X, XP and my laptop is a is a MacBook, a Win, uh, an Apple <coughs> Mac OS 10. I know what. Um, and uh, okay, it's it's different. I I really like the the uh, Mac system. It works really fast and uh, it's so easy to use. <coughs> anyway, uh, then three three years ago, I bought my first iPhone. Um, indeed, it was a, it was a neighbor, a friend of mine, who went to the United States and bought it for me because. Uh, you couldn't have it here uh, in Spain. I mean, so I have my. I, I still have my first iPhone, which is one, of the first and, and the only one I have. I mean, it's my main phone. Three years after, uh, it's the iPhone one, and I was really amazed with, especially with the with the, with the touch screen and the the navigating experience I I have had uh, just before I had uh, Palm OS which was fine uh, but uh, before the iPhone you just uh, surf the web with um, I mean all the webs were um, I mean were specifically f um, adapted to the to mobile devices it was not the normal website that you would uh, browse in a in a normal computer, but with the iPhone, uh, it was like that, and it was so easy, so so. It was amazing. I mean, I remember the first time I I had the the iPhone. I mean, my neighbor's ha iPhone in my hand, and I couldn't believe that uh, it works so well. Um, well. <laughs> Um, I suppose that many of you ha will have already tried uh, right now an iPhone, iPad, or any other kind of Apple mobile device, so uh, you will understand. Uh. Then, uh, this last year, I got the iPad, uh, which is also an amazing device. But there's, there's, <laughs> it's funny because I don't know for how long I've been talking, but. Uh, the point of the video was just to talk about the screen, <laughs> the screen difference between the iPad and the and the iPhone. Uh, I've started to talk, uh, to explain my history for the last ten years. So um, I, I don't know how long I've been talking, but uh, I think I'm talking too much. So I will try to sum up. Uh, I was just wanted to complain about the well not complain but I I felt a difference between the the first iPhone screen and the iPad. I this this iPhone uh, it's been with me for 3 years. I don't have any kind of of case. I also 
always wear it in the pocket with the keys uh, I mean with anything that is in the pocket uh, uh, so I'm not being really careful about the phone but it's perfect I mean it has no scratches I mean okay it's not perfect perfect but it's really well for being treated like this for three years the only problem I had is that my screen was broken not it hasn't had any scratch but it's broken because it fell from like three meters height by an accident two years ago so there's I, I suppose you you can see it but there's a there's a scratch here well it's not a scratch it's, the screen is broken indeed but it doesn't affect to the to the functionality of the phone I mean you can use it the, the touch screen and it works great and I got used because you know it's been two years so I got used to the I mean when it's on you can see it a little bit but it's not too much so I can deal with it uh, but there is any other there is not any other uh, scratch in the screen I mean, it's perfect <coughs> with the iPad which has always been in a book I mean in a, in a, in a case and I've never wear it in a pocket of course because it's big but I mean I've been really careful with the iPad um, okay my kids sometimes play with it but I mean they they just tap with the with the fingers I mean they don't use any any other kind of material so but anyway I've realized some days ago that it has some scratches in the screen they are really the really little scratches I mean when the when the iPad is open, it's turned on. You can see it, but when it's when you when you are cleaning the, the screen, you can see that there are small scratches in the in the in the, in the screen. So I don't have any technical uh, information, but I guess that the screen is not that resistant. I don't know what's the experience with the the new iPhone or the new iPads. But at least compared to my first iPhone, uh, I can feel the difference. I mean, it's really weaker the the, the resist the, the the resistance of the of the screen. I don't know if you have uh, a uh, iPhone 4, or iPod, a new I new iPods, and you could verify this. Uh, it would be nice to know. Um, okay, after all this digressing. <laughs> Um that's all. That's it because I've been talking too much today. So um thanks for watching and see you soon. <laughs>